Hi, this is Vince again with another role for you today. Uh, this time it's with Afif. Uh, I'm, the role has already started and uh, I've gone into a defensive uh, posture. I didn't let him take my back, but not letting him put his hooks in. So you can see here, he's trying to work for his um, seat guard, uh, seat belt position. And he's trying to uh, get a, a, a better angle to grip, but I'm transitioning to a turtle. Then it's trying to uh, attack my feet to try to bowl me over. Again, I, I don't fall to my back, I fall to my side and give him that same uh, problem of um, establishing his seat belt grips. So he gets a bit frustrated here and I'm trying to attack my leg to try to flatten me out but uh, I'm holding my posture and moving with him. Again, he's trying to establish his seat belt grip to try to pick me up and straighten me up into a seated position but there's some grip fighting going on so that's um, frustrating his progress there so eventually he tries to put in his hooks but that gives me enough space to squirm away and wiggle and um, again now he's trying to keep me flat to my back but um, I'm moving to the side as you notice I haven't used my hands to pull or push or touch his collar in any way in fact you can see my hands near my hip line I'm just, I'm just holding my arms next to my body and using my legs and hips to move. As you can see, he's trying to do a, a, spin, a far arm spinning arm bar from knee right, knee, con knee right control, but uh, he's not getting anything because I'm just turning away. So eventually he gets a little bit frustrated and tries to go for a modified uh, bow and arrow choke, but uh, he doesn't get an angle that he wants. Uh, but using that collar grip, he's pulling me as, until I sit up with him but uh, he's not getting anything and he's, again he's trying to put his hooks in but I'm using that as an opportunity to reverse the situation and eventually pass his guard and put him in side control. With my left hand I'm weaving my arm through and twisting and killing his hips, uh, eventually putting in my left knee for a knee ride and that made him tap out because of the pressure on his, on his abs. <coughs> so that's the end of the first roll. We have another roll coming up. Okay, the roll's already started and I'm starting in my seated position again. So this is a shorter round and I'm letting him play his game. So um, there's some grip fighting going on and it's being a little bit um, dramatic with that facial expression. But I'm not um, harming his fingers because I'm grabbing all four at the same time. Eventually uh, he gets a, a collar grip and he's trying to back step to get around my guard. But uh, I'm, I'm following him there. And I'm using my uh, butterfly guard to kind of maintain the distance between his hips and my hips. And you'll see I start to scoot away a little bit using my feet just to maintain the distance. But as I move, he, uh, he manages to get his uh, arm on the side of my right shoulder. And he's going to use that as an opportunity to try to flatten me out to side control. Again, whether or not he's... Um, Facing me or not, I'm not really too concerned at this point. But you can see he's got uh, his right hand through, trying to kill my hips like the one I did to him earlier. And now he's trying to go for uh, an arm, a uh, knee bar. But I roll and counter with my own knee bar and he just taps out, out, out of that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys had fun with that.